Well, it's that time of year again. Late January, early February. The Easter eggs are already out on the shelves. And, uh, well, I want to name a business, I suppose, isn't it? That's not awkward in the slightest. I didn't need that to wake me up in the morning. Damn. <clears throat> so anyway, on that note of um, the emergency services surprising you out of nowhere. Hello. Good morning. Good day. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whoever and wherever you are. Good morning to you. Hello. Hello. Oh, I'm going to be suffering from that shot for a little while now. Oh, I was in my own little happy place then. And then just BAM! Big sirens out of nowhere. So, there has been a rather lovely announcement over the last week or so. And it's from the lovely people at Triumph. Now, I rode the Speedmaster a few months ago, and I've got to say, that is. I've only rode like two or three bikes, but that is the smoothest bike I've ever rode, which is um, slightly biased. But if I didn't have a journey bean, I might go for one of those because the seating position, everything, it's, it's lovely, it's, it's a genuinely lovely ride. A bit old timey, a bit old fashioned, you know, I, I can see, uh, I can see myself getting on with that. But, um, how can I put this? You guys know I've got a bit of a hard on for a Rocket Free, right? 2300ccs of just, like, screw you, I'm off. So, how can I put it? Triumph have announced that they're doing like um, a custom limited edition run, an updated version if you would, of the Rocket 3. Now supposedly there's only going to be 750 models made, and um, will you buy me one? Please? Please? <laughs> I'll be a friend. Uh, it's um, the, the bike looks gorgeous, and I've read one or two website articles and supposedly it might be not just like a, a remake or just like reshaping, remodel sort of thing, but like a bit of an update for it as well. Now I've said for a little while in my own little world, in my own little space, I've, I've been so disappointed that the Rocket 3 has kind of, it's stopped, like the production line has stopped. But um, on the flip side of that, I was hoping that Triumph would take a little while to do some R&R, &R, some uh, R&D if you would, and come up with a, a new big motorcycle because without the Rocket 3 there's, I suppose you've got the Yamaha VMAX, you've got your Honda Goldwings, all that sort of stuff, and yeah, they're good, they're fine. It's not Rocket though. Um, <laughs> I sat on one of the brands making new Goldwings by the way, they are luxurious. And, uh, well, I wouldn't say no to one of those either. However, um, one thing at a time, eh? If I won the lottery, then yeah, maybe I'd just have like a, an army of motorcycles and, and models and things I can paint and such. Oh, I'd just, I'd just, I'd be a hermit if I won the lottery. Hello, are you human? Do you qualify as a person? Do you have a personality? Good, bugger off. <laughs> I wish no partake in this, um, in these vocal exercises. Be gone. Oh, I'm such a moody git sometimes, but uh, nah, it's... There's talks that they could be updating it a little bit, refining some elements, and one of the articles which I read is the engine is gonna get a bit of an update, and it could be up to about 2,500 cc's. You're not overtaking me, are you? Nope. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
So to go from arguably the world's biggest production bike up to maybe 2500 cc's is just, oh it's ridiculous and they're redoing a fair bit of the bike as well so it might be lighter, it might be heavier there's less body work I want to say which is great because that definitely makes it lighter but um, ooh. it definitely looks the part so I'm hoping I'm really hoping that the Rocket 3 will make a, a comeback there is supposed to be an announcement on the 1st of May which will be interesting to see what they come up with maybe they're doing a second limited edition run maybe they're doing a actual production line of them I can't see them doing like a concept for the bike or like a, a, a production for the bike and then not continuing it because that seems a bit like a waste of money at least bang out a few thousand of these bikes get your money's worth out of the machinery and the labour which you put in and uh, have some fun with it, why not? So these bikes are going to be incredibly exclusive and when you think motorcycle you think okay motorcycle when you think Triumph, yeah the price goes up a bit when you think custom, oh the price is definitely up there isn't it? and then you think Rocket Free, oh, oh <laughs> now we're talking I don't expect this thing to be cheap at all, in the slightest, no way. Not, not in a million years. <sighs> but I wouldn't mind receiving one for free. Triumph, guys, please. <laughs> uh, I just. But, um, nah, it should be interesting. Let's see how the bike is, if I can get a test ride on one of these bad boys, oh, that would be wonderful, but I'm, I've got a feeling that 750 of these things, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be lapped up pretty quick by some people who aren't necessarily going to be riding the bike all too often, and some diehard fans as well, who can afford it of course, haha. -ha. So there's, uh, there's just a few things on my lovely my lovely uh, bike crush which I've got now a second thing is you might have noticed uh, a few weeks back that I changed the name of the channel ever so slightly I just dropped the devil part off the end of it because well it's nothing that has been bad nothing that's been said or whatever I just felt the need to drop the devil bit off the off the back of it because it's a little bit old now it's a little bit well let's say childish so Uncle Red suits me just fine suits me all fine and dandy and uh, well as I play computer games a lot whenever I have the uh, red devil bit on the end or the devil bit on the end I uh, I sometimes get asked are you a Man United fan to which I very quickly respond no and football in general can go eat a dick personal opinions I don't believe in a sport where people can get tapped on the ankle and then roll around on the pitch for the next 30 seconds crying and then 30 seconds after that, like, oh, I'm fine, yeah, I'll just run after the ball. Okay. Not to mention the paychecks, and I can't come up with any other argument that people haven't done already. However, ice hockey is my favourite sport because, well, when someone gets bashed into the bloody boards at a significant force, they get back up again. Because what you do in that game, you don't cry about it, you get up and you carry on. I'm sure, there's some players which cry about it, but uh, I'm not going to get into that. But, um, oh no, I'm, I'm just going to take a moment to be a bit of an arse, really. And say that um, the local hockey team, which I used to support and used to, is, yeah, it's definitely there. I, I uh, well, last season, my local team was um, bottom of the Elite League. Well, I should say second from bottom because the only reason why we came second from bottom is because the people who did come bottom ran out of money and inevitably went out of business and now here we are the next season I bought a season ticket for two seasons in a row um, our last season in the Premier League if you want to call it that and then the first season of the Elite League and by the halfway through the, the, the Elite season we were just losing games it wasn't going anywhere and I thought I can't do this anymore I've spent what was it 400 450 pounds on a season ticket I just, I can't do it anymore. And 
the sad thing is, I could have not purchased a season ticket, but purchased a ticket for every game that I went to prior to that point, and I would have saved myself some money. It might have been only 10, 10 15 pounds, but I would have saved myself some money. So I decided this time around, season two in the Elite League, I'm just not going to buy a season ticket because I'm fed up with it. I'm, I'm done. I don't believe the owners are putting sufficient money down and in short bollocks to them <laughs> to be honest and um, we've got a lower team as well who have been doing okay ish and basically what it's done is just divided the community not a lot of people went to see the lower team but they've started falling apart and they've recently done a kickstarter to stay in business had to raise ten thousand pounds i think which is ridiculous and there's just no support there and how can I put it? I do feel bad that there's no support there. However, I am part of the problem because I look at this from an investment point of view and I know that's a really, really crap way to look at it. But I have to be honest with myself, in this day and age where money is tight and everyone's got to save money wherever possible, it's I'm not spending £450 to watch my team lose game after game and such. You know, I'll, I'll look at some teams in the NHL, for example. I know there's one or two doing bad at the moment. I don't want to name any names because I'll probably get it wrong. But, uh, um, yeah, there, there's there's some crap going on. Now, of course, everyone everyone competes for the same prize and someone's got to come last. Unfortunately, that's us. But uh, this time around, I'm not investing in that. I can't do it anymore. I'm, uh, I'm fed up of it. I have no faith in the uh, in the team as a whole, not the players, not the management, but as a whole. I have no faith that there's going to be any sufficient uh, change. And that's my little moany bit. Hey, although I will say, yeah, they are bottom of the they are bottom of the league again. Nothing changes, and uh, well. Nuts to that. I'll stick to my jelly bean and making videos, thank you very much, because that 450 quid goes a long way. Ah. Yes. It's a lovely day out here on the golf course. It's a lovely day for a ride as well. I'm only doing 26. I'm going to be doing like 30, 40, 50 down here, but it's just such a nice day. I can't be bothered really. Uh, I just, just want to chill. Ah, and I think I went out there, really. So, um, yeah, Rocket Free, new model, limited edition run, but hopefully the announcement later on during the year will be an actual, hi, here's a big Rocket Free for you guys. It's updated, it's even more powerful than before. Go nuts. And uh, I think that's just about to do it. So, Have yourselves a good one. Easy, that's neutral. Ah. That should just about do it. So have yourselves a good one, enjoy, and I shall see you in the next video. Ta for now.